and welcome to Saffron Trail Kitchen. I've grown up in Bombay where we never really had a winter to speak of. But I've heard of the sweet potato chaat where in the Delhi winters the chaat palas just get these freshly cold roasted sweet potatoes, peel it and then just sprinkle it with some lemon juice and chaat masala and it's supposed to be divine. So this is my take on the Delhi special winter sweet potato chaat. So let's see how to make it. So here I have a boiled sweet potato which I'm just going to peel and cut into small chunks. So we peel the sweet potato. Now I'm going to cut it into bite-sized chunks. In this case we have boiled the sweet potato but you can also roast it in the oven or in the traditional way on coals or you can also wrap it in some uh, thick aluminium foil and bake it in the air fryer for 20 to 25 minutes. So I've cut the sweet potato into bite-sized chunks and this is my twist to the sweet potato chaat recipe that I'm just going to toss it in a little bit of oil until it gets a slightly golden uh, exterior and a little bit of crunch and then we'll proceed with the recipe. So the oil is slightly hot, I'm just going to add our chunks of sweet potato here. As the sweet potato is already cooked, we don't want to keep this in the pan for too long, just until it gets slight golden brown colour. So as you can see, the sweet potato has got these nice golden brown spots and a slightly crispy crust. So we'll switch off the gas and uh, we have all the other ingredients ready for the chaat. So let me take you through that. So in a bowl, we are going to add a little bit of finely chopped onion. I'm going to add some fresh coriander, finely chopped. A little bit of red chilli powder. And here we have some chaat masala. So we've added some chaat masala now. I'm just going to give this a mix. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, but not too much because chaat masala already has salt. So just a little bit. And some lemon juice. To this we'll add our prepared sweet potatoes. Just toss all this together. Now all charts are incomplete without some green chutney and some imli chutney. So that's what we're going to add now. So those of you who don't like sweet chutney, you can just keep it as plain green chutney chaat or you can add some red chilli and garlic chutney to this. I'm just going to toss all this together. So we've given all the ingredients a good mix, now it's time to arrange it on the plate. The thing about chaat is even when you're making it, it just smells so good that your mouth starts watering. I'm sure you identify with that. So I'm adding a few pomegranate arils to this. Not only does it add a beautiful red colour, but also a nice burst of sweetness when you have a bite of the chaat. And uh, for crunch, we're going to add some uh, roasted peanuts, which we've crushed roughly. Because we're not adding save or puri or any of the other unhealthy ingredients. This is for the crunch factor. A little bit of finely chopped coriander and a sprinkling of chaat masala and I have a few mint leaves these are optional but if you have it then do add it because mint adds lovely freshness to any chaat. So our sweet potato chaat is ready it's so healthy that you can even call it a salad do give it a try hit the like button Leave me a comment below if you want to ask me something and don't forget to subscribe to Saffron Trail Kitchen.